Hi everyone, today we are going to study isomorphism in graphs. So two graphs G and G hash, if we take two graphs and call them by two different names G and G hash, then these two graphs are said to be isomorphic to each other if there is a one to one correspondence between their vertices and between their edges such that incidence relationship is preserved. So that means if there are two graphs G and G hash, they may be drawn differently from each other, but they should be one to one correspondence between their vertices and their edges. That means the way in which the vertices and edges are incident upon each other should be exactly the same in those two graphs. So as per the definition of isomorphism, two graphs are isomorphic if they satisfy these three properties. The first property is that they should have the same number of vertices. The second property says that they should have the same number of edges. And the third property says that an equal number of vertices with a given degree. That means if there is a vertex, there are two vertices with degree 2 in graph A, then there should be exactly two vertices with degree 2 in graph B also. If there are three vertices with degree 4 in graph A, then there should be exactly four vertices with degree 3 in graph B also. So that means an equal number of vertices with a given degree. Now let's see this with the help of an example. If I consider this particular example, we can verify that these two graphs which are drawn below are isomorphic. Now there are two graphs, graph in figure A and graph in figure B. So how are these graphs isomorphic? Let's prove that. I can see that the correspondence between graphs is as follows that means the vertices a b c d and e correspond to the vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 respectively so the vertices 1 2 the vertices a b c d e in this particular graph a b c d e in graph a are corresponding to the vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 in graph b then the edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are corresponding to the edges E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5 and E6 respectively. That means the edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in graph in figure A are corresponding to the edges E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 and E6 in figure B. So there is a one to one correspondence between the graphs of figure A and figure B. So if I call the graph of figure B as G, A as G and the graph of figure B as G hash, then I can clearly say that there is a one to one correspondence between the vertices and degree, vertices and edges of both the graphs G and G hash. So except for the labels except for the labels that means the names of the vertices and edges in both the graphs rest everything that means the number of vertices the number of edges the incidence between the vertices and edges is same in the graph so i can say that these are isomorphic graphs which are exactly the same graphs drawn differently now let's see how we will check the all the three properties uh, which are required for an isomorphic graph. First of all, the number of vertices should be same in both the graphs. Here I can see there are exactly one, one, two, three, four, five vertices in graph G. If this is my graph G and this is my graph G hash, graph G has exactly five vertices. Let's look at the vertices of graph G hash. One, two, three, Four, five. Again, there are exactly five vertices in vertex in graph G hash also. That means the number of vertices in both the graphs G and G hash is equal to five. So the first property is satisfied, which says that the both the graphs should have equal number of vertices. Now let's check at the look at the number of edges in both the graphs. The edges in graph G are one, two, three. 4, 5. So basically how many edges are there? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and 6. So 1 the first edge, 2 the second edge, 3 the third edge, 4 the fourth edge, 
फाइव दी फिफ्थ एज एंड सिक्स दी सिक्स एज हाउ मेनी एजेस इन टोटल इन ग्राफ जी देर आर सिक्स एजेस इन ग्राफ जी नाउ लेट्स कैलकुलेट दी नंबर ऑफ एजेस इन ग्राफ जी हैश ई वन इज दी फर्स्ट एज ई टू इज दी सेकेंड एज ई थ्री इज दी थर्ड एज ई फोर इज दी फिफ्थ एज ई फोर इज दी फोर्थ एज ई फाइव इज दी फिफ्थ एज एंड ई सिक्स इज दी सिक्स एज दैट इज G hash also has total six edges, so the total number of edges in both the graphs G and G hash is also six, which is equal. So the first two properties are satisfied here. Both the graphs have equal number of vertices. Both the graphs have equal number of edges. Now let's satisfy the third property, which says that a given vertex with a given degree should be same in both the graphs. So if I look at the vertex A. B A C and D. Vertex A has degree one, two, three. Vertex C has degree one, two, three. Vertex D has degree one, two, three. So three vertices with degree three in graph G. Vertex E has degree one. So one vertex with degree one in graph G. And vertex B has degree two. So one vertex with degree two in graph G. Now let's find out for graph G hash. Here, V one vertex V one has degree three. Then vertex V four has degree three, and then vertex V three has degree three. So three vertices V four, V one, and V three have degree three. Then vertex V five has degree one, and vertex V two has degree. Two. So in both the graphs, I can see there are three vertices with degree three, three vertices with degree three, one vertex with degree one, one vertex with degree one, one vertex with degree two, and one vertex with degree two. So that means the number of vertices with a given degree is also same in both the graphs. So all these three properties are. satisfied now other way is to look at the incidence between the edges and the vertices so if i look at the incidence between the edges and the vertices i can clearly see that edge 1 corresponds to edge e1 over here the edge 1 in graph g corresponds to the edge e1 in graph g hash edge 2 in graph g corresponds to the edge e2 corresponds to the edge e2 in graph G hash, then edge three in graph G corresponds to the edge E three in graph G hash. Edge four in graph G corresponds to the edge E four in graph G hash. Edge five in graph G corresponds to the edge E five in graph G hash. Edge six in graph G. corresponds to the edge e6 in graph g hash so the edges and vertices are corresponding or of in other words there is one to one correspondence between the edges and vertices of both the graphs so clearly by verifying all these properties i can say that graph g and graph g hash are both isomorphic to each other